foggy rainy day, Surfside Jetty was calling me. Feeling secluded and isolated at the tip of the jetty is a day I mean for all year. On this day, the ocean is blue with it. The waves were crashing over the jetty, splashing from one side to the other. Surfside Jetty conditions are not good. It's extremely foggy. As soon as I walked out here, condensation started building up on my rods. Not good for cameras. My glasses are fully condensed. The waves are breaking pretty hard, and there's no visibility out here. You can't see anything. About to put the whole crab on here. Might as well. I mean, it's gonna fly off, that's why. I don't have any more bait elastic. So I'm just gonna put the two crabs on here uh, like that so it doesn't fly off. At least one of them one of them will stay on. Man, this was a drug. People always ask me, they don't watch the, the video completely or what, or they don't watch my videos. And I've said that in almost every video. I put my bait on the weight claws so when I cast it, it doesn't fly off because of the momentum. What happens is that when you cast hard, what's gonna happen, if you don't put your bait on the weight, the bait's gonna fly off and then your bait's gonna get a whip, like pulled hard on a whiplash and you can be that your bait's gonna fly off. When you put it in here, it all goes together. <laughs> oh, I need to put my corkers on. <laughs> oh, watch out. So uh, last time we were here, we were, we were able to cast about 75 yards out of the jetty. That was about a month ago, or a month and a half ago. Now, since then, the bottom conditions have changed drastically. I'm casting in the same areas that I usually cast at where I catch a bunch of fish, but apparently there's a bunch of snags down there. Now, I lost one liter out here. Really, it, it, got, it got stuck on something, but luckily, I was able to salvage the other liter on my uh, breakaway Okuma, so. Leaving the jetty at the end of the day like this isn't a loss. Watching the waves slam into the end of the jetty is a truly amazing sight. But days like this aren't always a loss. Around this time last year, a day like today was a slam. Next, we headed to the Texas City floodgates. 
The floodgates is a good spot during the cold season because of the deep water, but the current can be a hard fishing experience. Perfect, look at that. Fresh, juicy crab. This is gonna be the bait for today. I'm gonna be using my 11 foot rockaway. I had this yesterday at the jetty. It was getting slammed by waves. And uh, I cleaned it out this morning and it still works great like new. So uh, we're gonna cast out a crab here, five ounce weight and get away out there. Let me show you what we're trying to catch. We're gonna cast, you look straight ahead. There's a weird like wave circular motion out there. It looks like something's floating. That's what we're gonna catch right in that area right there. Hopefully we can get some. And if not, we'll go somewhere else. We'll, we'll be here for like two hours. If not, we got the whole day. If we have to move more up towards the, the Texas City Dike or Galveston, then we can do that. So, so. a lot of poachers here. With everyone packing up around us, we took the hint and headed out. If you've been watching me for a while, you probably know that I'm not a fan of the Texas City Dyke. Everyone around me catches, but I rarely share their luck. After a welcome visitor, my luck might have changed. I hope this works just as good. I hope this works just as good. What are you using? Cotton. We don't have any more of that bait elastic, and this might actually be more environmentally friendly than the, the cotton, the elastic. So, just hope this works just as good. Yeah, the string does work. Crap, this is a 30 pound fish. Oh, shit, yep. 
There's a fish on here. Huh? Yep, there we go. There we go, big fish on. I didn't even know, I was playing around. Finally. I'm trying to get a fish all day. There we go. Man, this has to be a big drum for it to be pulling this much belt and drag. <laughs> Either that or the current is just that strong. Which, I believe it, because it's really strong here. Can you grab the pole? Yeah, I'm gonna get you to grab the pole here for me, real quick. Oh yeah, look at that. That's a big drum. Big ass drum. Alright. <laughs> look at this thing. About time, man. We don't catch shit at the dike. Crab? Huh? Crab? Mm -hmm. Yeah, crab. A big fish. Very big, big Yeah. Wow, check it out. Huge drum we just caught. Can you pick it up? Whoa. Things are always so heavy to pick up. Nice and sticky all over my sweater. Check it out, big old drum right here. Pop pretty hard because the current right here wraps around the dike. We've been fishing all day and finally we catch something. Beautiful drum. Look at that. See, the juvenile ones that fight hard, they feel like tanks. You yes. call that one a juvenile? <laughs> I guess. <laughs> a young, young adult. A young yeah, adult. <laughs> you gonna pop it back in the water? Yeah, or? I'm gonna throw it right now. It's time to let it go. I don't slip. Yeah, it was. It wasn't out that long. Wow, about time we catch something decent out here yeah, you know honestly I, I think it's 
it's probably been like five years since I've actually caught something on the rocks. I don't, I don't, I don't like fishing here for that reason. I never catch anybody else was but me. <sighs> Finally. All right, so earlier when, before I even, we, like maybe like two hours ago, I was uh, walking to, to get one of my rod holders and uh, this gentleman named Jimmy approached me. Well, actually he was in his truck and he, he was like, hey, and I walked out to his truck and he happened to be a, a viewer and uh, he says that uh, he's been watching my videos for a long time. So then uh, the gentleman felt that he was, uh, he said that he, he felt really lucky that he met me out here. And I was like, well, I hope some of that luck rubs off on me because every time I come out here, I don't catch anything. All I catch is mosquito bites. So uh, we talked for a while and uh, he left and guess what? He guess his luck rubbed, rubbed off on me. So this is a drummer here. We're gonna, it's gonna be a shout out to Mr. Jimmy. So, you know, I always appreciate when people come and talk to me uh, when they watch my videos. It makes me happy that uh, I'm able to make other people's day just by talking to them, you know? So I think that's, uh, that's amazing. So, uh, Jimmy, this, that one, thanks for rubbing that luck up on me. I need it. I mean, my, my luck out here is so bad that I can't even catch a cold out here. It's right. a dad joke. 